But God said to come unto him, all you that are heavy laden and burdened, and I will give you rest. John 8.32 says that Jesus says that I'm the same yesterday, today, and forever. They said in James, in the book of James 1 and 6, he said, He that wavereth is like the wave of the sea, is driven and tossed to and fro. John 8.32, same yesterday, today, and forever. Uh, let's go to another scripture. Uh, I love this one right here. Psalms 119.11 says, Lord, I have hid your word in my heart that I might not sin against you. The Bible also speaks that the whoremongers, the drunkards, I do respect shall you, not enter into heaven. Hey, brother. I what I am saying. You are? That's good, brother. Don't drink no alcohol. Don't do no dust in. Oh, no, no. We'll drink one now. Ah, see? Ah, ha, ha, Hey, but brother, it's good. It's no good. No bad. It's, it's all good, man. Praise God. One beer ain't gonna hurt you, ain't that right, Danny? Matter, matter of fact, two ain't gonna kill you. But three is another crowd. <laughs> man, you used to do about 20 or 30 of them. <laughs> the Lord loves your soul tonight. He cares about your, your soul. He said, come unto me all you that labor and heavy laden in the book of Matthew. He said in Proverbs 4.23, for out of the but uh, for keep your heart with all diligence, for out of it flows the issues of life. Alright? Proverbs 3, 5, and 6. Trust the Lord with all thy heart and lean not on thy understanding. Acknowledge him in all thy ways, he shall direct thy paths. Goes on to say in the book of Proverbs that uh, 1433, that righteousness. Exalted the nation. But sin is in a reproach, is a approach to many people. You see where I'm at tonight. It also says in the Bible that, that your sins have kept you from God. That, it, that God won't hear you. You know? It's like you close up your heart. But you some of you like, no, I gotta go get drunk. I gotta go get high. You know. I gotta feel good. I gotta I got to get laid tonight. You know, I don't know, whatever you're feeling. But what I'm feeling is this. That God will save your soul tonight from the pit of hell. He'll do it. He'll do it tonight. He'll do it tonight. I believe some souls are going to be saved tonight. God is going to save some souls. Not me, but the Lord. How you doing, brother? The Lord said that he will save you. You just got to break down and come into it. You got to be humble enough to say, I'm done with it, Lord. I need a Savior. I can't do it alone. Alcohol is not going to save your soul. Drugs ain't going to save your soul. But Jesus can do that. Jesus can save your soul. Amen? Some of you just you like to party or whatever. Nothing wrong with a good party. The problem is we get drunk while we're doing it. Jesus loves you, brother. Hate your sin, though. He loves you. Hate your sin. Who is he new in Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, this uh this one guy, man, he's drinking fifth liquor. Right here on the good series. Yeah. That opens the table. They're just they're crazy and wicked boy. Yeah. Uh, he was but, walking around with a Yeah, with a, with a bottle of Jim Bean, man. Bourbon. I guess that's what it was. Man, you see these dudes like they're all like juiced up. <laughs> yeah, they're yeah, well they I think man that they're they're mad at it. They're mad because I'm gonna tell you, man, I, I, I used to play with this world too. Get yeah. drunk and high, run the crowds, chase women. But I'm gonna tell you, man, it leaves you empty, brother. Oh yeah, I, yeah, I know. It leaves you very empty. And uh, you know, you feel good while you're doing it, but what does the Bible say? Hebrews. It says sin's only pleasure for a season. You know, it was gone. All right, man. That's not 
Yeah, Our lunch is that, bro. All right, man. Cool. Trust in Jesus. All right. What's that? This morning, I was like, hey, little brother wants a shirt back. Yeah. I mean, he wants a shirt Yeah, I know. I know they're sour, man. It's one guy, dude. I said, Jesus loves you. He just like, I don't care what he did. He didn't slap me, but he just like, what's going on here? Yeah. They shunned the gospel. Big time. Yeah. 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 Jesus said, I'm the way, the truth, and the life. No man come unto the Father but by me. Is that what it said? He said, a double-minded man is unstable in all his ways. The book of James 1 and 8. James 1, 13. But if a man, God cannot be tempted, nor can he tempt anyone. For we are tempted when we are drawn away and lust hath conceived. When lust hath conceived, it bringeth forth sin. When sin is finished, it bringeth forth death. Amen? Is that right, Daddy? Your sins are going to kill you all tonight. But Jesus said there is an escape. 1 Corinthians 1 13 said there no, no temptation that hath taken you such as common unto man that God won't make an escape for y'all. He said he'll make a way. He said he'll make a way. He'll make an escape for your sins. Escape. Amen? Some people, they say, well, I'm going to end it tonight with my gun, or I'm going to end it tonight, I'm going to jump off this building or whatnot. <clears throat> but you can't escape God's wrath. He said his <laughs> wrath, his judgment, is going to be upon your soul. Upon you tonight. But as a minister unto the gospel, I try to be holy for the Lord. The Lord said, do it. Is that small voice? That still small, still small voice that uh, that my brother uh, in the book of 1 Kings 18, 19, Elijah said that the Lord was not in the earthquake. Was not in the wind. He was not in the fire. Well, some of you may ask, what was he in? He was in that small voice. What is that small voice telling y'all tonight? Nobody knows. Is it? Is it telling you to get drunk? Um, is it telling you to chase women? Yeah. Is it telling you to get high? Yeah, really. Okay, let me say this, brother. What's your name? Chris. Alex. Alex, Lord loves you, man. Uh, one thing I want to say. Small voice. A lot of people can't distinguish it. The yeah. Bible spit says that the natural man receives <laughs> not a thing the Spirit of God, but the foolishness of that. Yeah. So my question is this. Some people wonder, well, what is a small voice? You're lost. Well, I was lost too. Good voice, bad voice. But good it voice. could be a good one and it could be a bad one. Both both and and do right. the decision. One guy made a made a point where the devil's on one side of his shoulder and Christ and Jesus on the other. Yeah. Well, that's true because they're battling. The battlefield is in the mind. Our mind is in warfare for God. Yeah. He said, He said, you know, the uh, book of uh, Corinthians talks about <clears throat> how put off the old man yeah. to bring in the new man. Yeah. You know, so I don't know what it is tonight. Do y'all know Jesus? Do you know the Lord? Yeah. He's been saved. Yeah. Okay. But the gift that the Lord gave us is that we have the choice. Like what, what every angel doesn't have, yeah. that we, we have the freedom to choose. Yeah, we do, we do. We do have freedom to choose. We do have freedom but, to choose. And she, but but and the thing it is, sir, let, let me give you this, friend. Hey, brother, read that. Read that. That'll help. That'll help. Thank you. Hey, come back talk to me when you get sick. See how his girlfriend was pulling him? See, she didn't want to hear it, man. See? Man, I could have won. I might, I might could have helped him. So he gone. She just took him away. But see, then I give him trash. I want to give you this, Daddy. Don't throw it away. Praise God tonight. The Lord loves you tonight. Thank you. How y'all doing tonight? <laughs> 
God loves you tonight, but He hates your sin. He said, come unto me, all you that labor and heavy laden. Read that, uh, Danny, that'll help you. That's a good little track. Brother, y'all know the Lord tonight? I do, I do. Lord loves you, man. Thank you, sir. We're down in Athens, Georgia, ministering the Word of God tonight to a lost crowd. We're not trying to win them. We don't let the Lord win them. We're going to let Jesus win them. Is that right? The book of uh, Psalms 23 says, The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I fear no evil, for thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. They comfort me. Jesus doesn't like me. Jesus loves you, brother. No, he loves you, but he hates your sin, sir. He loves you. Yeah, but you can, you can be delivered. You can be delivered tonight, my brother. See that? Say he can be delivered from that, man. He can be delivered from that sin, Danny. Say they don't want to be delivered. They love their sin. You know it? Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hey, brother, how you doing tonight? Mighty good. Praise the name of the Lord. Anyway, let's quote Psalm 23. For the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, and I fear no evil, for thy ride and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou anointest my head with oil. Thou, thou, thou preparest a table before me in presence of mine enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil. Thy cup runneth over. For, for goodness, for surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. I'll dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Praise the name of the Lord. Lord, we love you tonight. We thank you, Lord, for your Holy Spirit of God tonight. For moving on our behalf, Lord, and uh, delivering us from bondage into this world. Cares of the world, Lord. Jesus said that I, he maketh a way for us. He maketh a way for us. All we got to do is trust in Him. We put our trust in God, people, tonight. We put our trust in the Lord. He said, come and taste and see if I have life to bring you. Jesus said that, right? He said, come and taste of this water that I give freely. For my Yoke is easy, but the burden is light. It's light, people. It's light. Hallelujah. Word of God says in uh, another good scripture. It just spoke to me. How you doing, brother? Another good scripture spoke to me. Book of Proverbs. 18.21. Proverbs 18, 21, it says, Death and life are in the power of the tongue. And those that love it shall eat the fruit thereof. Well, what's in your tongue tonight, Lord Peace? Is there righteousness being brought forth or is there sin being brought forth? He says, Your sin has separated you from God. Your sin has separated you from Him. The Bible speaks of that. 
It does. It speaks to that. Amen. He said, your sin has separated you from me. God bless you. Jesus, you know. <laughs> yeah, you too, brother. Hey, you go to church anywhere? Yeah. Hey, guys, right here. It's our church. <laughs> God bless you, man. Praise the name of the Lord. Yeah, it says 1821, death and life are the power of the tongue, and those that love it shall eat the lust and fruit thereof. It goes on to say, uh, 21, 22 says, Whoso findeth a wife findeth a good thing, and obtaineth favor from the Lord. But it says, The rich shall answer it roughly, the soft word shall he give to the righteous. 24 says, A friend sticketh closer than a brother. Bible also speaks that the drunkards and the, and the gluttons and the, and the whoremongers shall not enter the kingdom of heaven. You see, your sin has your sin has separated you from me. Is what Jesus said in red, the book of John, Matthew, Mark, and Luke. It says your sin has separated you from from your God. But if we walk holy tonight, as the Lord walked holy. He said that all things will be done. He said, exhort, exhort, and reproofing one another. We're exhorting one another and improving one another. I love this book right here. Uh, 1 Corinthians, uh, let's see, 1 Corinthians 7 1 says, Brethren, let us cleanse ourselves from all filthiness, unrighteous filthiness of the flesh, perfecting holiness unto the fear of God. Okay? Book of Hebrews says, put on the whole armor of God if you shall stand against the wiles of the devil. If you shall stand against the wiles of the devil. Meaning that the, 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 the uh, fiery darts that he gives through this world. The world's going to let you down. The world's going to pass. But he said, he that abideth in me and I am shall live forever. Uh Another good scripture that sticks out to me, uh, Proverbs, talks about, uh, well, matter of fact, the whole book's on wisdom. Wisdom of the Lord. Wisdom of the Lord. Praise the name of God. Lord, we thank you tonight for your word. We thank you tonight for your word, God. We come to you with a humble Humble heart, Lord, come to you with a humble heart. That just maybe somebody will, will take your word, Lord, and follow your word, God. Yeah. Need a pressure washer doesn't hit me up, man. Oh, you are? Yeah. Okay, no problem. I just thought I'd answer. <coughs> That's my pressure washing card up there, Danny. The Lord loves you tonight, people, but he hates your sin. He loves you, but hates your sin. God, you got to understand, sir. Your sin separates you from the Lord. No, not everyone. No, not everyone, man. I'm sorry. Not everyone. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah, I just heard that girl just told me a while ago, said that everyone sees. I said, not, not everyone. I said, where does it say it in the Bible? Yeah. 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 Not 
can you see it in your mind? Right. Your mind can't see it. It's your body. Book of uh, another good scripture just came to my uh, mind. Was like, yeah, Mary was One Corinthians, one Corinthians, six eighteen. Flee fornication. Flee it. For every sin that a man doeth is without the body, but he that sinneth sins against his own 